hello what's up youtube photographer Ronnie Sweat and I try and this tutorial how Bishop and I can easily smooth and skin in photoshop using frequency separation and if at all this is a issue that you have always wanted to handle when it comes to editing photos in photoshop this is the right video for you so simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed to this channel so we are going to be using frequency separation and remember frequency separation divides the image into the colors and textures so when we perfect the colors and textures and we combine them they are going to make a, a nicely retouched or edited image so what you're going to do just come to the background there right here and simply duplicate it by by pressing ctrl j so the first thing you have to do is removing the pimples or blemishes in your image so just come and get the patch tool for this kind of complicated images or you can get the spotty link brush tool if at all that is what you tend to use when it comes to removing the pimples or blemishes in the photos that you edit and after doing that just zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard and how the patch tool works make sure it is <coughs> in this first option selected and the source and destination are selected and the patch is set to normal and after doing that simply so to remove a blemish we simply circle around the blemish and we drag it to a clean area that is close or near the blemish to replace that blemish with clean skin so for example this area so circle this blemish and drag it to an area that is nearby to replace the blemish with uh, that clean skin that is nearby so just take your time as you're trying to clean up or remove these pimples or blemishes remember blemish removal is going to contribute over 70 percent to your overall retouching process as you're about to witness in this very video so remove all these pimples and blemishes so this step is basically more of preparing the image for the retouching process so take your time as you're trying to clean up and remove these blemishes from the image so remove all the pimples or the blemishes in the image and take your time because this is going to create or make a difference in the overall editing process when it comes to frequency separation so this is the before after before after and as you know i have already removed the blemishes from this very image and this is the before and after before and after because i don't want the, tr the tutorial to be a long one so after removing the pimples or blemishes we are just going to come to this layer and duplicate it once again by pressing ctrl j or you can use command j on the keyboard and after doing that simply come to this layer the middle layer and simply rename it to low frequency and we're going to name the up layer to high frequency so just double click to rename so we're going to name that to high frequency the low frequency layer is going to represent the colors and the skin tones of this image and the high frequency layer is going to represent the textures or the outlines in this very image so after doing that just come and hide or turn off the high frequency layer and after turning it off simply come right here to filter blur and come to gaussian blur remember this layer is also containing textures so just want to blur away the textures from this layer so that you can remain with the colors so take the radius all the way down and you click on an area on the skin that you feel has more textures and you can zoom in by using that zoom in tool make sure that the preview is turned on so simply left click on this pointer and start dragging it up so the major point right here is we have to stop at the point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear from this very image so depending on the image or the photo that you're going to edit you always have to look for the amount of textures in that image so stop at the point where you, you are just starting to lose out on the textures and the other thing that you have to take into consideration is the lower the radius the more smooth the skin is going to be and the higher the radius the more textures are going to be remaining with in your image so you have to look for that sweet spot when it comes to editing your image or moving this radius so we stop at the point whereby we are just starting to lose out on the textures in the skin and hit ok and after doing that just come and select the high frequency layer and now activate it then come right here to image and come to apply image so when it comes to apply image just come and select the low frequency layer so the source is the name of the photo that you're editing the channel has to be rgb and make sure the blend mode for 
an 8-bit image remember we have 8 is subtract then if at all you are using a 16-bit image i'm going to be showing you that later on so pass that 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check just type in 2 and type in 128 and make sure the invert option is not turned on so if at all you have 16 right here it means you are going to edit a 16-bit image just come and change the blend mode to add your scale has to be 2 and offset 0 and make sure you turn on the invert option and see the same information so mine is an 8-bit image so i'll just revert the settings to an 8-bit image and click ok change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light so select both layers and press ctrl g or you can use command g on the keyboard and you can double click to rename that to frequency separation and after doing that open up the the group and simply hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer so we're going to come to the brushes and right click and get the mixer brush tool and if at all your mixer brush tool is not showing under the brushes you can always locate it down here so after selecting the mixer brush tool make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush is selected make sure clean brush is selected because we just want the brush to be clean and we don't want the brush to carry any other random color Make sure that the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected with a weight of 9%, load 75, mix 90, flow at 100%. We just want to paint on the skin to blend the transitions. So in order to blend the skin tones, make sure you increase or decrease on the size of the brush depending on the colors in a given area so that you can blend them better. So in order to blend, make sure you zoom, you don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in, you won't be seeing the uneven skin tone transition so retouch at a distance and how to blend simply left click and hold down and you blend in the direction of a given color or the way a given area on the skin is moving so you have to follow that direction so blend just like that but you can notice that the skin is now looking somehow plastic but don't mind about that the reason for it looking plastic is because we turned off the texture layer so we are basically trying to deal with the colors alone in this very image so reduce on the size if at all you're working on a, a smaller area and blend just like that increase on the size and blend the colors so you left click and blend a given color and when moving to a new color you release the left click button and hold down once again to paint that color so at the, where the colors are transitioning from one color to another, use a small brush and blend that boundary or that bordering, bordering line for uh, the skin tones. So that you can create a nice and smooth transition between those skin tones in that given area. So blend every area that has skin tones or skin. And you can see right now the image looks better than it was initially. Uh, before so just come and turn on the texture layer and as soon as we turn on the texture layer remember now the textures are visible in the image so before after before after we have been able to edit this image using frequency separation and if at all you want to fine-tune the image better you can simply come and select the lasso tool right there and make sure it is in new selection mode with a feather of around 20 pixels make sure ant alias is selected and simply with the low frequency layer selected and the high frequency layer still turned on simply make a selection on the skin to fine tune the areas you may have missed out when you are using the mr bright tool so just come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur it is going to bring back the initial blur radius so just multiply that radius by three so three by three is nine so I'll just type in nine and hit ok so to deselect simply click out from the selection and if at all the effect is too much always right click on the selection and reduce on the opacity of the Gaussian blur in that given area so that is what we have right now so and hit ok so let's see the overall before and after so this is a before after before after so this is how you can easily understand frequency separation skin retouching and how to retain natural and realistic skin details when you edit your photos in photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thanks for watching i'll see you in more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep 
creatine. 